Hello, welcome to another video. I'm Sam and um, I love all things analog photography. I love my digital photography, but um, over the years I've really enjoyed the process of, I mean, this is gonna be shockingly cliche, but the slowing down. I really enjoy the process of the memory it creates that when you take a photograph, uh, and in this case, um, I've been using my Mamiya 6. Um, so in this case, it's when you're framing up a shot and you know it shoots in six by six, you, you've got 12 frames on this one. And you kind of remember the scene before you even take the photograph. Um, especially that I do like to try and get the composition right in camera as much as possible. Obviously, you're shooting on film. I don't want to do too much sort of post-processing with anything. Um, so I took a trip to London. Uh, last week and you took this camera with me a roll of Kodak Tri-X 400 uh, still currently on sale or the 400 T Maxes with Analog Wonderland in the UK for example uh, but this camera I absolutely love and I just wanted to capture a few frames and I tried to think if there is um, a theme of some kind that I could take with me so um, I just wanted to top and tail the day so obviously the obligatory train journey photographs, which we'll go through in a moment. And I want to try and do scene setting. So in my mind, I wanted either a singular person in the shot only. And if there was more, it was because of something. It wasn't about people being, gathering in a busy high street, for example. I, I wanted there to be a group of people because there was some kind of cause and effect that made that happen um, and I wanted some kind of hi historic looking pictures from modern modern day and obviously film is wonderful to be able to catch that so let's get down into it uh, we'll go by these uh, one by one there's not many to go through so of course the uh, the very first picture is from the train window so I really love this one I tried to do some uh, flat on uh, ideas to begin with but settled on um, I really wanted to try and time it right to be able to get a secondary rail in as you can see in the bottom left and try and get the overhead cables cutting in as well so I wanted this this viewpoint especially on this particular wooded area that I know that the train was going to pass of being able to capture the nature in the background along with that the stark contrast of the rails cutting across um, it's almost as if you always see the rails and roads cutting through landscape and I wanted to try and capture this here and obviously with the movement as well. Uh, so I'm quite happy with this one. Um, one shot, didn't want to take too many more, didn't want to race the film. Um, so I arrived into London, into King's Cross, um, had a wonder. I, nothing was really grabbing me until I turned the corner and I saw this scene here. Uh, Ame Lyon d'Or uh, restaurant um, and it was one of those Joel Mayovitz moments of oh my goodness something's happened uh, in my mind it, it hit my theme it was a singular person there was an event happening there was a building um, and obviously you've got the plant pot uh, smashed on the ground and the chap sweeping that up um, and I wanted to try and compose it as well with some kind of movement and angular. I really wanted to try and settle on this very straight edged compositional idea, like the train tracks cutting across. Um, and this was perfect. This is my, my second shot on the roller film, my first shot in London and uh, very, very happy with this one. Uh, my next shot um, was in a bookstore and uh, I needed the loop. And um, you, to go to the toilet, you had to go through the back of this bookshop and up these uh, metal stairs. So you really had to plan your toilet trip. Um, and as I was walking up, I turned around because, I mean, I love these metal stairs anyway and the old uh, brickwork as well in the background. But I saw these two sets of stairs here and they just lead nowhere. They just lead to a brick wall. It had a very old look. You've got... Um, 
the bicycle wheels hanging on chains and I presume flowers and they hang things from that. But again, compositionally, it had that very stark lines. No, there isn't a person in this, but it did kind of meet my idea of the theme of of angular and lines. Um, and I also just like that the stairs go to nowhere. Um, turning around and going a bit further up in front of me was this picture. Now it looks quite banal in, in a way. Um, again, you've got the themes of the bicycle wheels there, but there's something about this that really caught my eye. Lots of seats, but you, with the round table, and the stalls, it almost had this kind of medieval feel. And the bench at the back almost looks like a, it could be a throne uh, with these other seats around it. And, and obviously it's empty. And, and it's sometimes these images you can't really overly explain, even though I'm trying to. Um, but you do have this wonderful, it had this wonderful feel that it's, it, you're all brick walled off. You've got these flower, these plants in the background trying to creep over and you've got the empty seats and the round table. It had this really kind of mythical quality to it. Um, maybe that's just me. Uh, the next shot I took was just down a, a side alley, uh, Romilly's Place. I think it leads onto the photographer's gallery, which is down there. Um, I mean, street shots like this are two a penny, really. I have a thing about shooting rubbish. I like bins of rubbish. Um, but I like that again, uh, it's old school brickwork next to new. You've got some, the paving bricks as well and the mixture of tarmac and the rubbish and the iron um, blockade there in the middle with the padlock. Lots of things going on, lots of things quite closed off. And it, it's the perspective on that as well. It, it's kind of got a kind of suffocating sense, a uh, feeling to it. It, it, for me and it's just one of those scenes that I felt like with all the pipe work and the multitude of pipes at the top um, it's just something that I felt like I had to take a picture of uh, I mean it's it's interesting it, compositionally it works is it really an exciting picture probably not but it kind of works in the theme the context that I went with uh, next shot was actually inside the photographer's gallery. They've got some wonderful exhibitions on them in it and I quickly had a look in there. And this is taken from the window of one of their, I think it's on the third or fourth floor, getting be higher than that, and looking out. And, you know, it's a, it's a scene. It, you've brickwork, pathways, cranes in the background, nothing special. Um, but again, it fit with my theme that it was you had these contrasting lines cutting in um, a, a throughput down on the street. Um, it worked for me at the time. I, I quite like it. Is it a picture you'd want to print and hang on a wall? Probably not. But I like it. I enjoy it. So, uh, the next one. Uh, walking down uh, towards uh, Soho, sort of Chinatown area. Um, and outside this particular restaurant, uh, you've got this little peeking duck all hanging up there in the in the window. And <laughs> there was shouting coming from inside this. Um, and then this chap was just outside on his phone. And I quite, I mean, you can't hear it from the picture, but I quite like he, you know, you've got these plant pots uniformly outside and then he's just almost part of the scene. Um, I like it. Uh, if you'd have been there and heard all the screaming inside while he's very coolly outside, it would have, uh, it would, uh, it would make this whole theme of this image change. Again, um, I try and avoid the straight on shots so much. Um, I, I feel like I don't often do them justice. I'm not like a, a Nick Carver where you, everything's perfectly framed. I mean, I like them, but I quite like kind of skewing the angles slightly. But um, this one, uh, the contrast and shadows on this came out really, really beautifully. Uh, the next one, okay, so crowds of people. Obviously, I mean, my theme was about sort of angles, compositional angles and perspective. Um, this one, obviously, the signs, pedestrians one way, the huge sign the other. There is some people, more than one that I wanted. Um, chaotic scene. 
It's an interesting one. It's not my favorite out of the whole lot, I have to say. Um, but it did catch my eye that people were kind of being, they're still leading going off to where they were going, but they're kind of being forced around this this area. Um, and I do love signage like this. It's, it's um, instantly recognizable. Go this way, go this way, go that, don't do this. Uh, next shot. Uh, I wish this came out better. This is not one of the best ones from the day. Um, in between two park vans and looking on, um, there is a, a woman opposite and uh, on her phone, smoking a cigarette, the archetypal kind of street photography one. And then uh, this chap walking by with his can. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but... Um, I mean, the lens on this is relatively wide. It's a 50 mil f4 uh, on this. So you can tend to have to go and try and get too close or it's good for more of a, a landscape type thing. But um, yeah, it kind of works. Not my favorite. Uh, I visualized it better than it actually came out. So uh, this one I absolutely love. Um, again, it had my angles in, that closed off nature that I really kind of wanted from the day. I love that there's a singular figure as well, so it's ticking all the boxes. I love how everything in here is quite old looking. Um, you can see the old signage um, at the top, a mixture of modern bricks and modern pathways with old bricks. Uh, but everything's kind of covered over and shuttered down. You've got the windows, um, most of them are boarded off, closed off. You've got the garage doors all sealed as well. The car on the left is all covered over. And you've got a singular lady leaning against the wall here on the right. Um, it's an interesting shot. The more I look at this, the more I see after I took the shot. Um, I took another a follow-up image as well. It had my favourite thing in it. Uh, bin. Um, I wish the background was slightly different on this. I wish I'd got a bit lower and moved more around to the left. But again, I like the juxtaposition of you've got these two bollards then that look like in front of this car. It's clearly a vintage car of some kind because of the, the shape under the top, under the tarpaulin. As well as the wheels, those wire wheels that look just amazing on old vintage cars. Probably a Jaguar or something. And then you've got this 24 hour CCTV, you've got this uh, sign up, you've got this bin overflowing boxes behind this. It's an interesting one. It's one of those type of images that may look better within a sequence of images, but still. Uh, next one, uh, heading into uh, Covent Garden. Rounded the corner, Covent Garden, absolutely um, busy as usual. And just as I rounded the corner, yeah, you can see some people in the background. And then I saw this lady slightly away from her luggage case here the light was quite harsh and i didn't all i didn't have an awful lot of time to uh, I, if, I wish i'd have changed my settings slightly but i'm glad i captured this before uh, anything changed you've got a couple of pigeons here one captured lovely in the shadows and this lady again it got all my angles in singular person let's ignore the people in the background singular person um, it's, there's something about this. I, I quite like this, the, the huge pillars, uh, the singular person here. It's a different pavement to the cobbles out the front. It's, it's almost a barrier of some kind. Um, it works. So the next one, uh, back at the train station after I've done all the things I've needed to do in, in London. And captured this one here uh, going up the escalators um, again Kings Cross station has this um, amazing roof system in these triangular shapes up here um, but this is great it's, it caught everything that I wanted it to thankfully uh, lots of shadows um, lots of mirrored images of this within the glass of the escalator uh, you've got this lady clutching onto her uh, luggage. Um, it's, it's quite an, an emotive, evocative scene because you know the, the building is kind of different. It look, kind of looks like an airport or a transport hub. It is, it's King's, King's Cross Rail Station. Um, 
it has some movement and um, tells a story. Singular person, lots of interesting compositional straight um, lines. Uh, I sat down, I had to um, attend a, a Zoom meeting um, while I was at the station and it was the one I just fired off. The light was uh, interesting. Um, I wanted to capture MTC, I wanted to try and capture reflections in my in my phone um, of the ceiling above with all this kind of crazy iron work. And, you know, it, it's, a, it's a stereotypical street shot, although it's all indoors. It kind of looks like the street. This is all indoors in the background. Lots of people moving around, focused on here. It's, um, it's a travel shot. You know, it kind of works. So my very last uh, frame on the camera was this one, the journey home. Uh, I waited till we got to the wooded area again that I really love. It's, I think it's birch trees. Uh, so I waited, I waited, I waited, and this time I was going to try and adjust my angle slightly so it would top and tail with the first image, but obviously facing the other way, but. I decided the last frame of the camera to actually shoot it flat on um, and as best as possible I was trying to get a structure in uh, which I did get the structure in I wish the structure was um, I wish I'd adjusted the setting slightly to get that a little bit um, clearer but I do like the, the huge sense of mo uh, movement I like uh, the trees uh, as well uh, how they're positioned within that and the tones look great on that so those um those pictures there kind of worked i went with with a theme in my head that i wanted to try and capture around which often really helps me to be perfectly honest uh, otherwise i'll just shoot anything and everything and then um have standalone but i want to try and make a sequence so um well i hope you enjoyed that little walk through of some of the images um and next time i I want to shoot with the Mimir some more. Uh, I want to try some of the I want to take my brownie out again. I've got a, a view camera, a small little view um, camera that I want to kind of use as well. Um, so it would be wonderful if you could comment, like, and subscribe, and all that sort of thing. It kind of gives me a positive motion, uh, motion positive <laughs> um, cause to go out and do these things. Uh, as you know, I'm struggling with my eyesight quite a lot at the moment. I'm awaiting eye surgery in a month's time. Um, I can currently only see grey tones and black and white tones in my right eye, which is quite handy for black and white photography, and some colour in my left eye. So uh, health issues aside, it's really um, to get some feedback and to carry on photographing as long as I can is... Um, it's good for my mental health and I'm enjoying it. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll watch the next one.